So welcome back to Days Divinity. Thank you to all of you who are joining in today for this pick a card. We are seeing what we can do for our abundance. How can we get guidance to receive our abundance? And you see the various um, piles. The first pile being the beautiful citrine. The second pile being orange calcite. The third pile being carnelian. And the fourth pile being yellow calcite. Okay. They have already been blessed and anointed and intentions placed into them on what messages and guidance that you need in order to receive and achieve the abundance you're looking for. Just keep in mind that abundance comes in many forms. It's not solely financial, although that's generally the first thing people think of, and that may be if that's what you're looking for. Um, but take time to meditate and see which um, power spirit guides you to choose, whether it's one or all four. That is, you know, up to you. I will let it play for about 30 seconds give you time to really take in those deep mindful breaths and connect with spirit to see which one you're led to um but again just keep in mind that abundance can be in many forms it can be in love it can be in um just you know stability as far as relationships um it could be in other material wealth not just money but you know possessions um which could potentially be transformed formed into money you know just you get the drift but anyway take the time that you need and then timestamps will be below and i'll see you at your designated selections okay welcome to those of you who chose pile number one the beautiful citrine let's dive on in and let's see i'm gonna put you down here y'all see that barely that's where it's gonna be okay um so most all the piles got you know this i use the same dates for each pile and per usual i'm going to set aside our affirmation and um spell and things that you can use to kind of grow for right and take with you and, and use so the from the small green ones are from my which is spell deck. Those will I will not read um, in its entirety, but you can feel free to screenshot or always come back and take a look at them. Okay, so we're gonna put those aside for now, <clears throat> and we're gonna jump in too. So let's see. First, we're gonna see what Ganesha has, and this is a. <laughs> pretty thick a lot of them came out from from this group so um let's see well that's a good sign already bright new beginnings i'm probably gonna have to take up the second row with these i know hmm be candid and that's a seven. That's all about that throat chakra. Priorities. What do you need to set straight and get in order? <clears throat> Whatever it is, they're advising you to be up front, be frank about it. Courage. Mm -hmm. Splendor. And you will find great joy and happiness with this. Just have to be candid. Speak up for what you want. And persevere. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that's a 10. And that's 
it's funny because I'm actually wearing my Ganesha's, uh, this is the pendulum that I use, and it's my Ganesha tusk. Let, let it, let it. Okay. And then for the crystal mandala, some that you can meditate on. Wild compassion, and that is a five. Mm -hmm. Relief and repair, and that is a nine. She shall always prevail, beautiful, and that is a six. Beautiful energy. Slide these over a little bit. Okay, I do apologize for any background noises you may hear. Kids are not back in school yet. <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do. But the final crystal mandala is support. And that is yet another nine. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Now for the tarot. King of Cups. Oh, excuse me, Knight of Cups. I'm actually going to see if we can fit these up here. Page of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles or Coins reversed. That's interesting. Seven of Coins. Fall. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to move those. Let's just make sure she don't fall. There we go. Okay. And then for the remaining tarot or clarifiers, we have the Knave of Wands. King of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Wands, interesting, coming out under this Nine of Pentacles reversed, and the Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so things are jumping out already. <laughs> Let me take a minute to read the energy in its entirety. And then we'll jump into. Okay, group number one, those of you who chose the citrine, this message um, is for you. It may not resonate in its entirety, but just take what does, let the rest flow, right? So immediately I can't help but see that spirit is trying to get you to understand that whatever you have in mind work related you're gonna have so many new beginnings that come to you and you may even be changing positions changing jobs entirely changing field um, 
but something new is 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 they're trying to present you with something new and different i feel and it may not because this just look and they're telling me to hit on this because <laughs> it you will probably be in your head and feel stuck feel trapped a little bit maybe even have some a little anxiety because you know after the eight of uh, swords comes the nine of swords and that's all about being in your head restless nights you know anxiety right behind it but you're not stuck or you may feel like you can't leave the current position job whatever you're in currently like i said but that's far from the case like they're telling you Basically, you're going to have to be candid, be frank, be um, direct, really, in what you want. This splendor is all about, this is green. It's full of this green, the heart chakra. It's also, I see yellow um, undertones as well, which is about your solar plexus chakra, your intuition. But regardless, both of them, that's where your truth is lies like if you follow the the gateway to your soul is through your heart so if you open that up completing that cycle with the four and the six being the ten six being about love harmony balance the four also being about um stability and foundation together they make that ten it's like complete that and that's where you're going to find your splendor your happiness your wild compassion again heart chakra coming through Like that's just the paradox. Shouts out to the Leos for the um the first stone. But that's that green. You may want to even get you some and meditate on it. Um interestingly enough, let's see if I can find mine. Especially made for D's divinity. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. Seriously. Get you some. But these two are telling you that you're going to find happiness in following your heart. And this three and the two is like reducing to a five. is telling you that definitely there's going to be some changes. There's going to be some new beginnings. Don't fight it. Look at all that green coming through. Don't fight it. But um, it's going to require you, though, to be to be candid. As I mentioned, using that throat chakra. Again, another five in there. But these two together speak on this. Uh, are, is the seven energy, which is manifestation, abundance, um, spiritual path. You know, being on the road to enlightenment also having to do with choices, which speak on what you want to reap your harvest, what you want to put your efforts into. And especially with this coming under priorities, <clears throat> it's like make the decision, put your priorities in order. What is it that you truly need to be frank about that you want to uh, follow your heart in doing? And set the intention, put your priorities, uh, make them known, and then go for it. Because you will find happiness. Now, it's going to require some perseverance for sure. Especially because it, it may look as though, it may seem, you may be you may be causing this because of this feeling trapped or anxious you know you may be causing the blockage in your finances but it's okay they're telling you to persevere through that that's another yet another 10 which follows this 10 with ha with perseverance you will achieve this happiness this splendor the joy that you're looking for There may be some stagnation, some blockages at first, but it's going to require you, of course, like I said, to persevere through that and continue on and make sure that you have your priorities in order in order to, because, you know, that seven can also be 
like illusionary like don't be don't be blinded you know all that glitters is not gold so don't be fooled by that it's gonna take hard work and this is also divine timing it you know it may not come when you want it but it'll be there right on time another message that's coming through is nine real strong because you have the nine of uh coins the nine of swords uh, uh, excuse me wands and also the uh support down here which is a nine you are divinely supported so you have nothing really to worry about like this this feeling trapped that's throw that to the wayside there's nothing to worry about because you will always prevail which is a six she shall always prevail that's balance harmony Oh, this is another nine. I'm just now seeing that. So you have, what, four nines on the table? This is another nine. This is all about grounding that root chakra, the lower chakras, really, the sacral chakra as well, coming through. But that's all about where your creativity is coming from. So that's how you open yourself up in order to create. That's where your abundance is coming from. It's something that you're going to be creating that's going to bring you this happiness and um, the abundance and stability and everything that you're looking for. And it will prevail. The six is also about uh, reciprocity, equal give and take. So you're it, it's gonna you're gonna be okay. Again, this is all about how to achieve that abundance. So. Um, like I said, it's about how we're achieving that abundance. And so be, cur be courageous. It may be something that you have to, shout out to the Leos, because I'm, I'm definitely gathering that Leo energy. But again, this is a five. It's going to require change. You know, it may be something that you're not used to. Again, with this coming under the beginnings, it's definitely going to be something new. Different. And that's okay, because sometimes that's necessary. Um, you may be receiving um, news, you know, this may have something to do with communication. Um, possibly something to do with social media, you know, that may be an outlet or a change or something new that you may have to do. Yes, this, this can uh, relate to someone, you know, watching you or via social media or whatever but i'm not really feeling that energy this is interesting because you have a lot of that blue you know communication water energy which reminds me of the that throat the throat chakra here so um it's it i feel like it's gonna involve you talking may involve you um dealing with relationships and relationships in the way that I feel like um, maybe psychologists that's coming through real strong you know in in the in the psychological realm you know therapists even um, um, but it's something to do that's going to be emotionally satisfying for you or something where you're going to be speaking to help others with their emotions because this this knight of cups is kind of like a, a um, movement like a, a can be a rash if you see the waves are kind of you know it's kind of like sudden uh quick like rash that's the word that i can that, that just comes to mind but it's like you know not really tempered um in a sense so um i kind of get the vibe that it can be a little uneasy like not imbalanced, but just rush, just young, just kind of quick, too quick, you know, being, like I said, not tempered is the best, is the best that, that I can come up with. But, um, so you may be helping people balance themselves out emotionally is what I'm gathering. Okay. And it's going to take some courage because that's a lot of energy to deal with. Um, and it may be you needing to balance out your energy emotionally or, you know, talk to someone, especially with you uh, or with this uh, feeling trapped type of energy. But um, but like I said, that could definitely well be just the type of field you're going into to, you know, to help people um, release themselves. OK. 
is what I'm getting. And, you know, it may not be the abundance and everything that you're looking for up front, but I promise you, if you sustain, if you just persevere through it, it will be prosperous. You're going to prevail. And a lot of times it's not even always about the financial gain in it. And I think that's what spirit is kind of trying to advise you about because it's really like, what can you do to give back to humanity, you know, for the greater good of humanity to help others? Because in doing so, you then will gain your abundance. And that's how it works, right? Um, because look, you have the knave of wands and the king of cups so whatever this offer this passionate um kind of restart i guess um is what i'm saying because it's coming under the beginnings right it's going to be emotionally fulfilling and that's beautiful that is absolutely beautiful and you're going to celebrate like I said, you're gonna you're gonna celebrate. This is the Three of Cups energy, all about celebrations. I do not see this as a third party type of energy, negatively. Now it could be just in working with. I feel it strongly, third party in the sense of working with a group of people, you know, outside of yourself. But it's um, you you put you're gonna put, have to put in that work, like as far as it coming under perseverance here in the back. It's definitely going to require some work. That Nine of Wands energy is, is you know, pretty much fighting to the to the end, right? Um, but it will be successful. And then with the Two of Pentacles coming out under this Seven and the Nine of Pentacles reverse, but more so this Seven is what's screaming to me. It's like you're going to have to make a choice, and it's... Because... It, 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 you're going to have to make a choice like yes some one of these options may not bring you the financial independence that you're used to or even are looking for or feel like you should get but it's going to balance you you're going to be stable you're going it, it's okay and you have options you don't necessarily have to just stick with one thing but you have to be grounded and set your priorities, get your priorities in order on what do you want to put your um, time and efforts in first. And then it could potentially lead to or foster some of these other offers or opportunities that you have. So you don't have to close yourself off to, you know, you don't have to just choose just one. That's the beauty behind it all. Like, Ooh, okay, don't want the card to catch on fire. Um. <laughs> Interestingly enough, and then I have the, <laughs> I guess they wanted me to, you guys to see, we have the green abundance um, candles lit. So, yeah. That is what I'm getting from this group. So let's see what affirmations we have for you to grow on. Yeah, appreciation. Yes, yes. And it says, I am grateful for the abundance in my life as I direct my thoughts towards all that is wonderful in my world. My troubles and worries lighten. With the, with the full heart, I appreciate all that I have. Today, I accept what is as it is and choose to be satisfied i express my loving thanks to the universe for the wealth that is mine didn't i say that you got to be appreciative and grateful for what you have before you can even grow in abundance be thankful for the little things because then will great things come And then we have the inner sense. Today, as I quiet the noise of my mind, I become aware of the voice of my heart. I listen closely to my inner voice. I trust myself and develop confidence in my intuition. My inner truth <laughs> is divine truth. This is all about speaking your truth, right? 
And then of course she speaks on the courage, the confidence in your intuition. That's beautiful. And it says, I allow it to influence and guide me every day. Faith in life. And this says, I just want to make sure you can see it. Today I give myself to life. I live in the here and now without concern for tomorrow because God is always near and will never let me fall. My face surrounds me with light. No matter the circumstances, I let go. Having faith that life will always provide what is most beneficial for my soul. That is so true. And in saying that this, and I'm knocking them all down, I'm sorry. This card comes to mind. Relief and repair. Let go and accept and appreciate all that's in your life that you have right now. Before you can even move towards any more. Okay. And then finally... We have the spells, and this one is an altar spell if you do have one set up. If not, I strongly encourage that. Yes, speaking of abundance. So feel free to pause. I will not read these in entirety or come back at any time. And this one is a healing spell. Speaking of relief and repair, okay. and another healing spell. all I have for you. I hope this resonates with you and if it does please do not hesitate to comment down below. Let me know. You never know how your testimony may help someone else. And until next time, always remember spread love and light and everything will be alright. Peace. Welcome group number two. If you chose this beautiful orange calcite then this is the group for you. Sit it right down here. I hope you can still see that I know barely, but that's okay. So um, I'm going to set your affirmation and spell cards aside to the end. And I'm going to set out all of your cards and then take a minute to read the energy, gather the messages, and then we'll get into it, okay? Spiritual Quest. And that's a 40. Divine support. And that's a 48. Reducing to a 3. And then we have, ooh, empowerment. Beautiful. That's a 23, reducing to a five. Yes, yes, I feel that transformation. I feel this pile is gonna be heavy. Let's see. Let's try to see if we can fit all of them up here. Okay, and then we have concentration number nine. the end of that cycle. That's beautiful. Okay. 
So for the Crystal Mondo, we have Storm Wisdom. Hmm, yet another three. And then we have Spear of the Guru Mother, seven. And then we have breast. Simple as that. <laughs> A two. It's all about balancing yourself out. And then we have ooh, twos, y'all. Discernment. Beautiful card. Two, two, two. Maybe an important number for you. And it's interesting because you really have a two in each one of these cards down here. <laughs> and I know that's no coincidence they came out like that. That's beautiful. So there are one, two, five. Of course, there's a two up here, but you know, we'll get into all of that here in a minute. Okay. So for the tarot, Eight of Cups. The Tower. The Star. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what kind of synchronicity? <laughs> Ooh, we we gonna get into that for real. Oh show. Eight of Wands. Yes. Beautiful confirmation in those eights. The hangman. Slide these over some, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna manipulate these because I see them falling. <laughs> so we're gonna leave them be, but. I just hope, you know, I know you won't be able to really see, but I'll call out the cards as I point to them. And then, oof, y'all, faith. This is also the Hierophant um, in this deck, but I love that they, uh, this is Legacy of the Divine Terror, and I love that they put faith on this card. This is five, all about transformation. That is gorgeous. Let's see if we can stick you back here so you don't fall. Okay, I'm definitely not going to touch those. Alright, for the remaining tarot. Ten of Wands. Nine of Swords. Wow. That's amazing. I love it. Five of Wands. Absolutely. Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. Look at there. <laughs> Definitely double confirmation. That is beautiful energy. Yes, yes. So just give me a moment. Make sure I get all the messages and I'll be back. All right, group number two. <laughs> I'm just amazed and in awe, first and foremost, at this pile. Because I told you it's going to be deep. And this is very deep. And I'll try not to be too lengthy. But... Wow. So in order to be on your road to abundance and achieve and receive the abundance that you're looking for, you're obviously going to be on a spiritual journey. <laughs> With the first card coming out being spiritual quest, like it doesn't get more basic than that, more plain than that. You will be stable, though, with that 40 reducing to a 4. 
this is your foundation. This is this is going to be your rock. And you are divinely supported. For sure. They're bringing you together in harmony within yourself, mind, body, and soul with that 48 reducing to a 3. And I love it because this symbol, it's like there's your 3 right there, you know. Um, but they're definitely calling for you to embark on this journey and you see they're they're both looking forward they're ready to go they're locked and loaded they're ready to receive this empowerment that is that will come they're asking you to concentrate on what it is that is necessary for you to embark on this journey do your research for some of you, you're meant to be master teachers. You're going to gain powerful knowledge and wisdom, especially with this storm wisdom coming out. Yet another three. Confirmation of this, of you being, um, oops, of you being divinely supported and receiving this storm wisdom through this empowerment enlightenment journey that you're on beautiful um i'm trying not to manipulate the cards too much so i'm really just gonna have to point <laughs> to them so that i don't keep knocking them down but i just can't help myself because i like for you to get a closer you know a better visual but um but yeah, they're, they're, you're going through a transformation with the two and the three being a five. And there's no coincidence that the faith card <laughs> itself being a five comes out underneath these. That's, they're just like, that's what you have to rely on. And it takes a whole lot of faith to embark on this spiritual journey. Because you're pretty much walking by faith, right? Ganesha's eyes are kind of closed almost. So, and obviously in this empowerment card, they're definitely closed because he's focused on in his intuition. That's all solar plexus chakra right there, which is where your intuition lies. Going within. And so he's definitely walking by faith and not by sight. that's what they're screaming and that's what it's going to take for you to embark on this journey on the road to your abundance because they're in, they're moving they're moving towards the move <laughs> the change because the five is all about change uh, uh, movement as well um so coming into the tarot the first card is the eight of cups and this is speaking um, specifically on moving from away from your past energies and things that no longer serve you. You're going to have to in order because you're going to be made anew. Like this spiritual journey is all about being made anew because this is what the, the, the tower is all about. The tower is about rapid change. You see this tower is crumbling. This is all of your old ideals, belief systems, even um, your old ways, your old um, ways of thinking. You know, things that that you may have been taught and brought up on. And, you know, to no uh, fault of anyone's, it's just that's what they were taught and learned. And, you know, and so they instilled it. It's kind of been passed on. So this is like death and breakdown, even of the generational curses and things that... And we may not have even known that they were curses, right? But it's just like I said, it's just that's just the way it's been for years and years. So some of your traditions, some of all of that is being broken down in order for you to rebuild in this star energy. The star is all about healing, right? So to me, it's like they're telling you because with this Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands coming underneath the Eight of Cups, it's like that cycle is ended. You know, you can put those burdens down and move away walk away this is pisces energy as well coming through um 
this is all about too Pisces you know you you see a lot of your dreams and visions and, and everything are really really strong you are a dreamer if you behold the Piscean energy and so that's what he's looking towards to complete now moving towards fulfilling your dreams which is this is how you do it you embark on the spiritual journey and that's how you that's the road to your success so you're meant to be giving back you know you're meant to be the spiritual leader and as you see there in this faith card even there are you know like monks buddha um um very highly religious you know i don't even like to use religious because that's a whole nother whatever but highly spiritual let's put it like that individuals in this card that are going by faith I don't like to use the word religious because of the way that society has painted and even tainted the idea of religion, right? It really doesn't matter. There's no, there's no, um, there should not be a distinction or difference in the religions. And I don't know why man has created that as such. It's like, it's really to me, without getting on too much of a tangent, is to create discord between humanity, which it really shouldn't be because all it boils down to is spirituality and whether or not you believe right whether or not you have faith that's all that matters um but anyway back to what i was saying so lay down those burdens and that may be one of them that you know that's something that i'm dealing with honestly is letting go of being raised strong southern baptist you know it's you're a Christian or else pretty much and that's really not that's not good for people especially the younger ones coming up who truly are just a lot of them lost and confused and when you try to paint one religion against the other that really lands for more confusion so anyway that's where I feel like this nine this anxiety the nine of swords is coming from you know because it's like you don't want to disappoint your family um your friends even maybe even your spouse or loved one because you may be in a relationship where you are from two different um spiritual backgrounds right um but at the same time you got to go with what's true to you right you got to fulfill your wishes and dreams this is also what the star card embodies is feeling that making that wish upon a star and going for it but it's i love that this kind came right after the tower and there's no coincidence that it did because it's like she's putting let me try to show you because this is this is beautiful i gotta show you this so the tower has is crumbling here in the actual tower card right this is the rubble and debris that came from the tower falling but she's putting her healing powers to that in order to rebuild that even stronger even more solid which is beautiful beautiful energy this is a 16 which reduces to a 7 all about I'm sorry this is the towers a 16 reducing to a 7 all about um, your journey, your um, enlightenment journey, right? It's divine. Um, also about choices. This is um, and illusions, kind of in the seven energy, um, and then of course this is a seventeen, which reduces to an eight. So this is like abundance, <laughs> power, right? Everlasting never ending so this is beautiful 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 so i didn't even that's three eights actually <laughs> that's three eights and then you got um let's see actually four one because you got the eight of cups um the eight energy in the star and that's two and then you got the eight of wands that's three and then you got the well double eight of wands so four beautiful all right so moving on um but the star uh, i forgot to mention the star is healing not only the past rubble the destruction um you know healing you of your anxiety but especially with the nine of uh, swords coming out um underneath the tower and with the five of wands coming out underneath the um star uh, uh, you know that's kind of 
like I said, because it's together with this nine of swords, that's that internal mental conflict, that anguish, that, that anxiety that, you know, that you're creating within yourself, um, because of maybe you not wanting to disappoint someone or you trying to figure out how to find your own way, you know, um, and then you enter though the truth and the light like this is a message coming in and with it being doubly confirmed with this eight of wands from this deck this is beautiful because it's like you're getting a message of love and then it's no coincidence that it comes that this ten of cups falls under this particular eight of wands and together with this eight of wands it's because this is divine this is emotional fulfillment at its greatest so you have nothing to worry about whatsoever. And then coming after that is the hanging man, which is advising you just, you know, take a time out, kind of look at things from a different perspective. It's not that he's stuck in that position at all, like you may feel with the nine of swords. It's that there the the like God is asking you and advising you, your angels, your spirit team are telling you, just take a moment, pause right have faith everything is going to work out like it's supposed to you're receiving tremendous downloads like this is this is a rush this is a wave like so quickly and it's interesting that it falls out underneath the ten of wands um and wands is you know that passionate that fiery energy and not not only that it falls out underneath the tower in a sense which is that abrupt change quickly changing because storm is all about swift movement right it can wipe something out in a heartbeat um this is also the three as i mentioned before coming out under divine support so with this wisdom and um that divine support they're just asking you and advising you to have faith right the spirit of the guru mother, which is also a seven. No coincidence that it comes underneath the tower, which is also a seven, as we already mentioned. Because there, I feel strongly that they're advising you. The, the spirit of the guru mother is all about, if you um, read the, the excerpt from the book, it's all about not procrastinating, moving with a purpose, moving with haste, right? I told you the tower is quick change, you know, and that's what they're saying to you. Be ready. Like, don't don't um, resist the change. Don't resist this this journey because it's meant for you. It's already it's divine. It's it's going to happen, you know, whether you want it to or not. But at the same time, be gentle with yourself in healing and, and let all of the like quickly get rid of all of those negative thoughts, those disbeliefs, those, you know, illusionary ideals that that were kind of forced fed to you when you were younger. But take your time in healing. Okay? Because they also advise you to rest here. And honestly, I I don't even think I've really ever looked at this card um, now that I'm knocking all of the rest of them down. But that's that's a beautiful card. It looks like it reminds me of a manger. Like I know it, it looks like it looks like a moon. But it reminds me of like a rocker or even a hammock. Right? And it's like to me the center bubble here is like you, you know. You being wrapped in the love and support and divine energy. And it's kind of like, I don't know why I see this part over here as them kind of blowing healing energy into you. With these colors, it's also like the lower, the root, sacral. And there are some undertones of kind of yellow, but I see more of that reddish orange, which is, that's how you get grounded and heal. And the lower uh, chakras is where you hold all of your excuse me childhood trauma and you know any issues that you haven't dealt with or let go of released from the past you hold that within those areas so for my divine feminines out there who may have issues with conceiving or your cycles or urinary tract problems for guys too you know 
um, if you're having issues with your prostate um, ejaculation or um, you know just sexual energy in and of itself that's because those chakras are blocked and you, you may be still holding on to traumatic events or you know um, blockages and things that have that have you know negative energy that's causing them to be blocked so really do some some lower chakra um, energy work and healing definitely and also like I mentioned already work with your heart chakra because this this green that's all about your heart chakra <clears throat> and that's the gateway to the soul that's how you even reach this your intuition the love and energy um, that you have you need to fulfill yourself with first in order to give to the world because you're meant to be a master teacher that's that 22 is a master number and that's beautiful beautiful energy together they make a four but they're balanced they're stable and that they're asking you to get your you know open up your heart to receive that love so that you will be balanced and stable open up your heart have faith even if you've been hurt in the past because you know there there may have been there's a lot of dark energy in this um more so passionate energy but still it's not full of it's not red like full of love that that you know you would that i like to see um but wands is, is very passionate at least it's not so much a swords energy necessarily which is you know can be because you're clouded mentally or you know in your head or needing to be clear more mentally but what i'm trying to say is bring in the love energy you know bring in the healing of that heart chakra so that you do have you can feel your cup back up right because this may be this eight of cups may have been some past heartache you know and it doesn't it's not just speaking on relationships again because you know like i said with the tower it could be family ships friendships um you know things that that you just having to retrain yourself you know find your own beliefs so I think I've talked your head off enough with that so we're going to go ahead and get um, into your affirmations okay first one we have several that came out for you first one is unity and I'll do my best to keep it in frame so you can at least see the picture and I'll read it to you. Today, I bring my attention into the present moment where I become one with my inner light. As I make this conscious co connection, I find myself centered in my heart and begin to, to glow with my own divinity. Didn't I say that? <laughs> I said that exactly. Like, you have to open up your heart chakra and then will you be able to oops this is why i try not to bother them too much but i have to show you this oh, come on okay i'm sorry but they're asking you to open up their heart so that you can connect to your inner light, which is your intuition. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with them anymore. <laughs> Let's get through these. All right. And then it says, union with my inner light provides me with a wise and stable base from which I can now live every day of my life. Beautiful. I'm going to put this one on this side. Okay. And then we have... I welcome... It says, I welcome life as it presents itself to me. Today I take each step on my path to fulfillment with good faith. I swim easily with the flow of life. I embrace all experiences the universe bestows on me, even those that my that may prove challenging. I know all will fall into place for my greatest good. Yeah. 
Если было, and then we have <laughs> everything changes. This is interesting. I think this is the first time I'm even seeing this card. A soft light radiates from my heart. It illuminates those around me and transforms every situation I encounter. I maintain a positive attitude in spite of any difficulties I may perceive. No matter the circumstances, I remain a source of tr true joy. Everything changes when it is bathed in the light of the divine. And that is so true. So true. Coming in front of divine support. And then finally, live for love. Today, I put love into everything I do. It is love that gives life to all things. And I open my heart to this great power. I act gently and speak with kindness. I fill each thought with love and light. <laughs> That's what I always say. I love God and all being everywhere. I live for love. I love myself. Yes, sir. All right. And then I think we only, we have our spells. And it's interesting that this healing spell comes first. So as I always state, I will not read these. Feel free to pause, come back, screenshot, do whatever you need to do in order to receive this message. And I'm gonna put this over rest here. The next one is a money spell. If you don't have an altar, I suggest you do so. And then we have a moon spell. All right. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm loving the energy from this group. It's very, very deep, like I said. But much needed for those of you who picked this group. You are some special beings. And it shows. So, take heed to the affirmations. You may want to work with each of them or all of them, you know, for at least a week. Just say that to yourself every day. Come back, read that to yourself every day. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. So that is all I have for you, group number two. Until next time, always remember, spread love and light and everything will be all right. Peace. All right, group number three. For those of you who chose the beautiful Carnelian. Let's see how you can attract this abundance that you seek. And I'm going to place it right here. I know you can barely see it, but that's okay. So, just like all the other groups, in case you haven't, um, in case you didn't view those, we're going to save our affirmations and spells for the end so that you can meditate on. And we're gonna start with Ganesha. And lay the cards out, take time to read the energy and then get into it with you, okay? So first step is number 32, Steadfastness, which reduces to a five. And then we have Delight, number three. Beautiful energy 
already. I'm loving the colorway. Ooh, and then we have 33. Guidance. Beautiful. So already. Well, let me just put the rest of the cards out. But I was going to say, um, already I'm getting the feeling that because it's, <laughs> I just can't help. There's like four threes in this up top, in this row alone, in this deck alone. And um, Spirit is telling me that's truly divine. That's my Holy Trinity number. And so if you haven't, uh, if you didn't, if you weren't drawn to deck number two, you still might want to watch that because it likely will resonate with you. So we have several crystals. And I'm probably going to have to take up both of these two rows with it, but we'll make it work. Yeah, rare success of 53, which reduces to an 8. I'm not going to have to go get me some of this Stroma of Light because, or try to find it, because this card has popped out in nearly every reading um, that I have done this past week. And that's very significant. This is beautiful, beautiful. Her golden grace, for sure. Another three and an eight, which is confirmation, y'all. This is gorgeous. Plus the color schemes are just lining up so perfectly, all of it. And then we have, oh my God, <laughs> from word to world. I love this card. Oh, Jesus. The vision. Look at that. Just take a minute to meditate on that. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, and if you don't have that lapis lazuli, my, my, my. That's the connection. That's That helps. Please go get you some. They'll get you some. All right. And yes, I wear mine all the time. I really hardly ever take it off besides when I shower. Goodwill. This too reminds me of the world card in tarot. I say that every time I flip this card, but this one has been coming out heavy as well. I'm telling you, if you didn't feel a connection with deck number two, just go check it out. Spirit may, you may be surprised on how spirit moves you. And then finally we have, ooh, the untamed. Mm. What is the message and how we achieve this abundance with group number three? This should be interesting. Let's see what the tarot has to say. So, king of coins. Abundance wrapped up in one card. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Shouts out to my Taurus. My earth signs, all my earth signs. But Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I say Taurus first because they're all about the bag, right? Okay, sorry about that. And then look at their temperance. Major energy. And then we have oh Jesus, the magician. So talk about attraction. Let's see here. And actually I think I want to I'm gonna move some stuff around. But I'll do that in a minute just so we can see them. And then look at there. Abundance at its finest. Beautiful. I'm loving this energy in this group. So, yeah. Let me um, let me do that and move some stuff around. I'll be right back. 
Okay, you guys, I do apologize. I had to rearrange a couple things. And I'm sorry if you can't see them very well, but I'll try to, you know, maneuver in best I can without disturbing them because they tend to like to fall <laughs> if you mess with them too much. But anyway, um, let's see. So for the rest of the tarot, so currently we have just just so you know, steadfastness, delight, and guidance. And then I just moved the crystal mandala that were once behind here, which are the rare success, her golden grace, and the vision that were once right here. I just moved them down and then moved these over. So we have from word to world, goodwill, the untamed, okay? And as we discuss them, I will get into numerology and all that with you. And in the Legacy of the Divine Tarot, we have King of Coins, the Temperance, the Lovers, the Magician, and the Ten of Coins. Beautiful energy, okay? So finishing off the rest of the Tarot, we have Five of Swords. King of Swords. Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Five of Cups. And we had several. I'm going to have to move these over because we had lots that came out <laughs> with this group. Or with this deck. Two uh, cups. Did I say five of pentacles? Five of cups. Five of cups. If I said five of pentacles, I'm sorry. Um, two of cups. Oh, we're still going to have to shift. Because I got a couple more. So I'm not going to be able to move these too much. Ace of wands. And Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I don't see these. If I mess with these too much, I don't see them staying in place very long. <laughs> but uh, I'll still deliver the message, obviously, for you. You just may not be able to see the cards too much. So I do apologize. So give me a minute, let me gather the messages, and then I'll be back. <sighs> All right, group number three. Those of you who selected the carnelian stone, I have several different messages, so I feel a lot of you selected this group because there was a lot to come out. First and foremost, and what I can't... <clears throat> what I have I just have to address first is that some of you many of you may be trying to um, address or achieve abundance and love and I can't help with this being the center of the tarot spread but pick that up very strongly especially because these come out underneath the lovers and sorry about that but um so with these coming out underneath the lovers it, it really tells me that you may have be getting over a past um heartbreak you know with the five of cups energy feeling maybe as if that was the divine partnership for you soul contract which it could have been at, um, um, even a karmic connection but the thing is you have a soul contract coming in though and this may be some 
excuse me, someone you're working with, with the Three of Pentacles energy, or someone you want to work with, however the case may be, at your job, in business, whatever, you know, the case may be for you. But also with it coming out just underneath the Magician energy is telling me that the power is in your hands to manifest whatever you desire and whatever it is that you seek, right? Just remember to keep steadfastness. This is all about keep at it. It kind of steadfastness brings to mind kind of perseverance, but in a much more at a much more rapid, consistent pace. Does that make sense? Like, because it, it's the five energy, so it's all about movement, change. But steadfastness is like, like I said, rapid. That's the best way that I can. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Like, you got to keep going, you know. Don't don't give up. Like, keep at it. Even if something hits you, like, let it roll off of you. Just keep moving, right? Because there will be delight. The color schemes in these two cards match perfectly. You will find joy in it. And that's all in Ganesh. Like if you see Ganesh is, is, is armed and ready for battle. And it's like no matter what comes up. He will persevere and win out in the end. And be happy that he did. And there's no coincidence you got threes. Like I said this top row there's... It's, all threes all threes four threes so y'all should look that up 33 33 um three 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 whatever combination of three but you're being guided if you need any help whatsoever just call on your spirit team and they will this is your spirit team in the background armed and ready too. Like all of your battle, you, you, you may feel like, especially because you got this, um, you got this, uh, all the swords energy right here at first. So you may feel like there's like, you have to battle, you know, the five of swords is all about fighting for, you know, fighting for what you want. Sometimes even fighting yourself, <laughs> Especially because this Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, you know. But it a lot of the times it's 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 seemingly like it's all in what you perceive. It's not really the truth. But you just feel mentally conflicted or or you know trapped. And some of you may have to do with this particular King of Swords person or energy, or you know whether that's these this is air sign. Um. So it may have to do with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. It may, um, you may have to embody this King of Swords or somebody that you know or dealing with is embodying that King of Swords, which can be sometimes cold, you know, a little cold hearted because they're all mental. They're all in their head. They're all, you know, there's truth and nothing, nothing else. Right. But it can be the cold hearted truth sometimes, you know, there's no emotion really involved so take it as you know take it as you will take it as it resonates but either way what I'm saying is like you may have had to deal with the cold hard truth in some type of uh, past relationship seeing it for what it is you know and that may have kind of <laughs> taken you aback a little bit but with the rest of this energy here this beautiful energy it's still like you're going to be blessed. This is a renewal and passion. And in finance, an offer, whether it's from the divine or from an actual partner or lover, you know, that you seek or someone that you, you know, or want to work with, right? Um, it still is a beautiful offer coming through, especially that it falls underneath the magician and the ten of coins because you're manifesting this <laughs> like you have the power to manifest whatever it is you want and the fact that it comes under the ten of I'm trying to show you these without making them fall um, 
that it comes under the magician and the ten of coins is no coincidence because you're manifesting this greatness and this has to do with a potential inheritance um but it's still it's 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 an offer it's a, a great stable solid grounded offer that's going to balance you out and this is speaking too about making sure that you balance because this is a large large lump sum right can be it's still quite a bit you see that's a that's a treasure chest full just a minute let me i see my uh karma light has went out so let me light that if i can just a second sorry for the interruptions okay you guys so That that scenario in and of itself was the first thing that, that came out. And it's like there will be for sure success. And it's rare success. So it's going to be something that you're not used to. So don't be closed off into receiving what's divinely meant for you and coming to balance you out you know even in the form of a lover um like don't be surprised if it's someone you are truly just not that you would probably not check for ever right but that's where it's coming in the divine time they're gonna pour that love into you you're gonna get equal reciprocity right and it may be in ways that it may have to do with this particular person. Like, just they may come to you with abundance where you're used to pouring out your heart and love and energy that way. They may invest in you, especially with, whoops, especially with, um, well, <laughs> they're jumping at you. <laughs> they're trying to come at you. But especially with, um, and this is, this is uh, earth energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn if I didn't say that already but um, especially with it, the three of pentacles coming out clarifying it could be two different people that may be coming at you um, as a love interest that you may not even see you know maybe an earth sign and maybe a um, an air sign doesn't necessarily have to be but that's just what I'm picking up But I see you've, you've probably seen them before as far as in your dreams, as far as um, in a vision, right? And if you're manifesting this individual, then, you know, you should go within, um, ask your higher self, like, if you truly want that revealed, but you're manifesting this and it's like, speak it and it shall be now if this doesn't have to do with a lover because I also you know I also see this just being like work related true honestly and truly because um because you do have quite a bit of even pentacle energy um but whatever the situation is for you even if it's not work if it is strictly just a lover relationship um, it's something that you are passionate about or it will be renewing your passion with this Ace of Wands coming out. And it's going to be something that you truly love with this lover's card. It's going to be divine and it's something that you truly love and it's coming in divine time. Um, let's see. The temperance is a 14, which is a 5. So you do have, let's see here. I see eights, threes obviously, you have several fives, eights, fours is what I'm seeing really strong, really, really strong. So 
potentially three to eight weeks, potentially three to eight months. Three to eight months is the first thing that came to my heart and mind. So that spirit gave to me for you all. And obviously it has, you have the power to change any of this. It just depends on all on what you use your magician energy to, to manifest. And you putting in the work, the steadfastness to go for, you know, what you desire. Um, to put in the work, you know, to get out of this Eight of Swords energy because you don't want to be blocked. If you are in this anxiety, this kind of mental confliction, it may take longer, right? But um, there's no need to be in that energy because you have grace on your side. And as long as you have goodwill and the intention that you put in, it will be golden. It's going to be successful. Just look at the color schemes. Look at that in these, in these cards. And these are all... Eight is very powerful because these all come from the eight. You got... Sorry. You got triple eights. Triple eights. Eights are really strong for you. Not to mention, you got the eight there. These two together make an eight. I told you three eights and fives and some fours. But I, I see that's just, that's strong. I see this as the will of fortune. I don't know why this just really reminds me as the, of the will of fortune. But it it just does. That's what screams to me. And then, of course, I tell you all the time, this is like my Phoenix Rising card in this particular deck. But it's going to be successful, and you have grace on your side. You might want to get you some of that uh, dendritic agate. It's all about that heart chakra energy as well, opening up, making sure you keep your heart chakra open. Because you also have Jasper, which is great for healing. And then that green here is heart chakra to me. But this is this reminds me of the world. I say that all the time too. So completion of cycles, everything turning in your favor, just like with this uh rare success in the wheel of fortune coming through energy coming through. Not to mention, you know, just the beauty in this card alone. This is infinite. With the seashell, that's infinite. It's going to be stable. Whatever you wish for, whatever you speak into existence, it's going to be stable. Your vision will reign true, especially with them coming out next to one another like that. But you have to free. You have to free yourself. That's Let that passion ride. That's, again, another three. That 48 reduces to a 12, which reduces to a three. So let your let it go. Like let your suffering in it. It's funny because it's like three sets of moon energies that I see. Like you see three crescent moons, that's what I should say. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's like um I also see it as this. Cause you know, this is this was really kind of harsh. Not harsh, but just lower vibrational energy let's put it like that but it's like let yourself set yourself the truth will set you free and that's what the swords energy is all about it's all about mental clarity and you ultimately that king of swords is the end of the suit end of the line so it's like he's truly set in his in his um honesty and truth and knows what it is not confused by anything not conflicted not in this energy at all which was really interesting that he came out in between this. So I feel like you are in this conflicting energy of and not trying to see the truth, whether about this individual or whether about, um, you know, allowing this individual to, to, you know, to come in or even just you reaching this energy state, whatever, however it may rain for you. I just find it very interesting that it came out in between all of them or all of them, both of them. But they're telling you to release. Get you some amber and get grounded. 
release that energy man because that's gonna keep you from your your blessings if you're not careful and we're all about trying to gain that abundance right so yeah that's really all that i see with that just know that however this resonates with you whether it is with and it could be both it could be a, a business uh you know uh relationship uh, as well as a, a lover you know something and i know i i for one truly was that one that said don't mix business with pleasure but who says that like why not i mean yeah it depends on what you really want the vision that you have i mean if you picture it as being messy a messy situation then it's going to be a messy situation right but if you manifest it and picture it as being successful then you're gonna have success it's all about perception right so affirmations to grow on okay the path of light beauty just take a minute just to look at that take it in they're guiding you look at that <laughs> They're guiding you. They're showing you the way. They are. Okay, so I'll read it to you as you take a look at the picture. Life places the perfect people and situations on my path to help me advance on my journey of inner growth. Mm -hmm. I possess the courage I need to progress despite any obstacles I might meet. I study my expectations. I'm, I'm excuse me. I study my experiences, seeking the wisdom they have to offer. In this way, I improve from day to day. Today, I choose to grow in faith, and I am confident that at the end of my road, I will join the light. I'm gonna actually put that with that because. I feel like that goes hand in hand. And then we have um, Beyond. Look at that. Mm. It says, Today I lift my consciousness above all worldly illusions. I remember the power I have in every situation. I always have a choice in how I respond. Today, I choose to turn my awareness beyond, excuse me, today I choose to turn my thoughts towards God. By focusing my awareness beyond the illusions of the material world, I experience simplicity and peace. Absolutely. And that just goes with the light, I swear it does. And finally, we have, <laughs> I can't make this up, attaining peace, which is what we were just talking about in the Beyond card. And this is going to come out over steadfastness, which is like, already it's like, hang on and move, you know, move steadfastly towards attaining that peace. And like I always say, the truth has set you free. And my true definition of freedom is ultimate peace. You know, being being truly unbothered by all the illusions of the world, like that Beyond Carl was saying. Like being set free, uh, uh, not necessarily totally separated, but like being in the, in the world, but not being of the world, but not in it, right? Is that how the saying goes? You know what I'm trying to say. Basically, like, not allowing the the illusions of the world to consume you. That's how you attain that perfect peace. It says, today I turn within to find the source of my experiences. There I find the peace that comes from seeking truth. I understand that the riches I discover within myself have a greater value than all the wealth of the outside world. What I say? Step by step, I continue my spiritual quest 
Little by little, I free myself, rising ever higher and attaining true inner peace. That's what it is, y'all. That's what it's about. I swear it. I swear it. And that's so funny. And it's not a coincidence that I even place the cards the way I did that Spirit had me do. Because this comes above finding that truth, which is that sword's energy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And we will be successful in setting ourselves free. It's going to take some grace. For whoever or whatever this was or is. I say was because I truly feel like <clears throat> this is in the past. This is past energy I'm, I'm picking up. But having grace, not a, like not a, if this is an individual, not only for them, but for yourself. Having it for yourself, first and foremost, before you can even have it to give to anyone else. But here we go with the spells, okay? The first one out is a money spell. As always with these, I am not going to read them. Feel free to pause, screenshot, go back, do what you need to do, take notes. These will be here for you. And then we have an altar spell. Let's see if I can get this in the frame without blocking anything. Okay. And finally, we have another money spell. And I love it. Dispelling fear. Yep. Because that is what you, it's likely keeping you. This right here is keeping you in this type of energy. I love it. I love it, I love it. And I'm putting that because we're going to put that in front of from world, word to world because so that you can um, speak it into existence. That's lovely. That's lovely. I pray that this resonates with you. For those of you who did choose group number three, the um, carnelian, I pray that with the power of the carnelian, you attract all the abundance in whatever area you are looking for in your life towards you. I pray nothing but love and light into your life because as I always say, if you continue to spread love and light, everything will be all right. Please remember that. Don't forget to like and comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. And you never know, sharing your testimony, how it may help someone else on their journey. So please do. Do not be afraid to. Until next time. Peace. All right, group number four, last but not least, the unstable ones, just because you are the number four. And the one, those of you who did choose the yellow calcite crystal, this is the group for you. Put this here. And in case you didn't tune into any of the previous groups, I'm um, saving the um, affirmations and the spells for the end. Something to leave you to grow on and meditate on, okay? So, like I always do, I'm going to lay out all the cards. I'm going to show you as I lay them out. Um, I'm going to take a minute to read the energy and gather all the messages and then we'll get into it, okay? So, first up, acceptance. And I do apologize if you hear my stomach. <laughs> that is the next thing after this, but I definitely wanted to complete these with a sound mind. Okay. And then we have belonging, which is a five. The acceptance reduces to a three. I didn't mention that one, but we'll get into the numerology and all of that as we go. And then we have embrace. Mm. Okay, so what is it that you are needing to accept? 
that you belong with. You need to wrap your arms around. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. So for our crystals, we have safe to be seen. Love it. Master number 11, beautiful turquoise. all about healing and that throat chakra and then we have sensitivity and i was just getting ready to say with the turquoise all about healing that throat chakra i'm also feeling that heart chakra as well but then we definitely get confirmation of the heart chakra needing to be healed with this sensitivity which is yet another three beautiful and finally we have Ooh, original self. Look at that angelic. Look at that angelic center. That's beautiful. It reminds me of a snowflake. I love the snow. That's purity at its finest. Yet another three. Love it. That's beautiful. Original self. Okay. And for the tarot. Let's see, the wheel. It's a 10, completing the cycle. And what cycle have you come out of that you have learned to accept or need to learn to accept to complete it? That's beautiful. The nine of wands. High Priestess, mm. yet another 11, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. And seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay, slide her over a little bit. Okay, guys, what do we got going on here? Let's see. Finishing up the tarot. Seven of Swords. Interesting. Six of Swords. That's beautiful to see, actually, coming after that Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Two of Wands. The Fool. Six of Wands. I love to see that. Oops. All right, you guys. Let's see here. Give me a minute to gather the energy and messages, and I'll be back. All right, group number four. For those of you who chose the yellow calcite, strongly 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 and first out <laughs> like really the main message of what I'm gathering for this group in which you just like there's no way around it <laughs> there's no way around it because I know you see it how could you not the elephant in the room a lot of you have experienced, are experiencing, or will be experiencing this kind of lower vibrational negative energy. Now, Three of Swords obviously has to do with heartbreak. As you see, she's crying. And there's the heart literally split by her tears on her face. She's in the dark as well, so it's like really depressive energy, probably feeling at a loss, right? 
could have to do with some lying, deceitful kind of, you know, backstabbing, sneaky type of energy. Somebody who um, has possessed this energy around you. With this being swords energy, it could be um, an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be. But <laughs> interestingly enough, you know, the Three of Swords is kind of in the middle of the High Priestess and the sword, Seven of Swords, which the High Priestess can also be kind of some secretive type of energy. But I feel more so strongly than anything is that this is talking more so about your intuition, about finding balance despite this energy, right? Especially because it comes... Um, it comes because the high priestess comes after this nine of wands, which is, you know, this is like you're at the end of the line. You're at the end of the ropes. This is just before the ten of wands, which is throwing down those heavy ass burdens, right? But he's bowing down to the high priestess and like, here, like I surrender. I give in. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm giving into your energy, which she's an 11 which is or excuse me a 2 which in Roman numerals is an 11 either way it's about that balance needing to have that balance right either the 2 or the 11 however you look at it but um, um, I see this like even though I know in the major arcana um, the high priestess is the 2 I still spirit is screaming 11 and it's actually underscored by this 11 embrace so embrace your inner intuition and know that that's where your guidance your you know your light like accept things for what they are truly even if you've gone through that heartbreak energy accept it there was obviously a lesson for you that you know that need needed to be had and I feel like the lesson is that you embrace and embody especially with the high priestess coming out in the center of this tarot that you embody your intuition and that's how you balance yourself and now you will rely on your intuition because it's what I'm gathering is that they were telling you prior to this certain situation that it may not be such a great idea, right? Like, whoever this individual was or is will likely bring you to this heartbreak situation. Like, they were kind of trying to tell you and advise you, <laughs> don't be a fool. But you had to go through that, though, you know? That was a karmic situation that you had to endure, However, the wheels are turning slowly, but surely they're turning around in your favor. You're ending that cycle with that being a 10. Sorry, come on camera. You're ending that cycle. That's a 10. You're ending that, that heartbreak, that burdensome, that that feeling of loss. It's interesting because it you got the, which is double confirmation, the seven of swords coming out twice. And it, with it coming out under this wheel, it's like, yeah, this is done. As you see, these sevens are balanced, <laughs> so you're 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 coming out of that that negative energy. Um, and this may not even be necessarily with just a lover's type of situation. It can be any relationship, quite honestly. That you know, you, somebody has been lying to you, deceiving you, trying to pull that wool over your eyes. Either way, and it could be somebody you work with. I'm just saying that's the particular energy that's here. Y'all just heard that too, yeah? <laughs> Confirmation, I don't take anything lightly. I don't even know where that came from, but there you go. <laughs> For those of you who needed, who were still unsure. But it's like, 
that you're coming out of that. You're moving to calmer waters, which is the Six of Swords. You're moving away from, and it's interesting that, that the Six of Swords is in the middle of the <laughs> two of the most negative, not most negative, but two negative energies. But the interesting thing is they're all balanced. So it's like you're calm, you, you calm, you, no longer are you feeling left out in the cold. You no longer are you feeling that financial loss. You know, no longer are you, it, are you settling for the negative bullshit, the lies, the deceit. You're moving more to the clearer mental, you know, mindset. You're relying on your intuition to, to show you the truth. You're discerning, right? You've made a decision or are making the decision, let's say, because look, all of these are balanced out. This is all about decisions. Two of Wands is planning, you know, for your future or whatever. But you, you made the, you're deciding on which way to go. You, even the Fool is kind of balanced out. But you're still, you're like, okay, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. I'm going for my victory, and you deserve it. You're gonna succeed. You're gonna be victorious. You're making, you're moving, you know. These two sixes, that's confirmation with the sixes. This is, they're both about movement. In the regular tarot, a lot of the times you see with the six of wands that there's a victorious soldier on the top of his horse, right? Moving. In the six of swords, generally they're in a boat of some sort or, you know, moving in it over calmer waters. And again, fives are even about movement, change. So, you know, this is all about movement. You're going places and you're gonna be victorious. So as long as you, and, and this is where you belong. Yeah, definitely where you belong. Again, another five, movement, change it up. You may need to change the scenery. You may need to change locations. Some of you may want to go to the mountains to meditate, right? But um, it's like this, it doesn't necessarily have to even be like physical movement, like driving to another city, state, country, or, you know, going to a, a physical, different physical location, especially again, because I go back to the high priestess being the center of this spread and this is this is likely just movement and change within yourself. Like I said before, because you know the wheels are turning in your favor. You're deciding to move to a, a place of mental clarity. That's movement. That's change within. Yeah. You're also changing your ideations and your mental clarity on the idea of finances. No longer, like I said, will you be left in the cold, feeling lost, feeling left uh, uh, without. That likely where it is where that heartbreak energy came from as well. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a physical uh, relationship or, you know what I'm saying, like a love or romantic relationship. It could be just with finances, with work, you know, because the heart's energy is anything that you love and that's, you know, passionate to you. Again, with the, the wands energy, that's all about passion, desire. So, you know, it could, it could have to do with that, with like a passion project or something like that, that you may have felt this loss that whoever you have worked with, um, you know, may have been lying or just dece trying to deceive you and cause some kind of friction or loss of finances with that five of coins you know however it resonates with you but and and you you, you you know you fought hard for this this is what you truly wanted but now you're just like yeah okay i'm gonna accept things for the way that they are you know i'm changing and moving to a place where i belong i'm embracing the change and the fact that it's time to move on from this loss from this heartache from the pain I'm also embracing the change that I'm making within myself for balance, for peace. Because I'm finding myself again. Right? That's what you're saying. The three, you're coming into harmony, mind, body, and soul. 
nothing can touch you you're finding that angelic path that that has always been within you that you probably let go to let you know kind of lost yourself dealing with this type of energy it's easy to do trust me but the guidance is for you to be gentle be sensitive especially as you go through this process in healing yet another three it's going to take some time but allow the divine to enter your heart because that is love I always say it, love conquers and transforms all. And that is how you truly heal. But you have to be able to, despite this negative toxic energy that you have dealt with, you have to be able to open your heart again. Accept things for what they are. Understand that, yeah, you, you, you see things, you're trying to see things more clearly. And... That's not to mean that you have to be naive or feel like, um, cause no, you never, you know, you, you vow to yourself that you will never experience the pain like it is, you know, like you did with this situation. That's the greatest lesson and blessing. Little do we know going through it, but that it truly is because that's how you gain knowledge and wisdom to grow, to move forward. But now they're telling you. As you come into your original self, it is safe to be seen. You are abundant, baby. That's an 11. Another 11. I think you have, well, you know, like I said, with the high priestess being a 2, but the Roman numerals, you know, it's still 1-1, one, one, which is an 11. Um, that's 3, technically, right? So that's a sign in and of itself is the fact that you are now balanced. This too, like I said, this is turquoise. This is all about healing. Um, it screams throat chakra, but also heart to me, especially coming with that sensitivity. Um, but it's like, you're on a new journey. You're on a new spiritual journey. That's what the 11 is about. Spiritual enlightenment, spirit, um, spiritual journey, manifest manifestations. Um, you're gifted, like the psychic abilities, all of that. But it's once you come together with your true self gain that mental clarity gain that and and i forgot to even mention like i don't know if y'all can even really see this first of all this is if y'all see in the in the background it's like that moon energy right the crescent moon so that may be beneficial a lot of you may be moon gods or goddesses and so there's power in that and not only that you see that butterfly? I don't know if y'all can really see it, but there's a butterfly. There's wings, right? Butterfly or even fairy comes to mind. But either way, there's wings in there. Sorry, I had to take a look at the card, but there's, there's wings in there. So that's screaming transformation. Like I said, you're, you're, coming, you're coming back into your own. You're finding yourself again. And that's beautiful. And I feel like that has to do, that's all that uh, high priestess energy. And that's what this group is about. That's how you find your abundance. And it's not even necessarily, because I don't even see a whole bunch of like material, like pentacle, you know, earthy energy. This is abundance in, in, in um, accepting who you are. Relying on your intuition. And it took this, this, it took this uh, heartbreak, this feeling of loss, in order for you to find yourself again. Like I said, whatever the situation may be, it really doesn't even matter. But because the whole point of the matter and what Spirit is trying to get you to see is that in order for you to gain your abundance, renew that, you know, it's about getting back to who you are, healing yourself from that. Because they're, the tables are turning in your favor, honestly and truly. And it may feel forever to you, feel like forever to you, but I promise you it's going to be well worth it. Just be gentle and sensitive with yourself. But they're telling you to come out of this darkness. It's now safe to be seen. Come out of this darkness into the light because you belong. You belong here. Okay, so... Look at there. I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot. Like, even if I tried, it wouldn't be that damn good. I discover who I am. Look at that. 
that's gorgeous and that's like connected with the higher self like i said that high priestess energy that's what like this is connecting with your higher self so i'll read it to you it says today i discover the riches that lie within me didn't i say that that's where your abundance lies <laughs> i can't make it up i acknowledge my true self i see myself as an unlimited being and marvel at the beauty of my life accepting your original self right that is gorgeous it says i recognize the wealth of possibilities available to me as a being of light as i learn who i am i recognize the divine within me gorgeous gorgeous I, that has to go down here with with this no we're gonna put it up here so you can see but because embrace who you are that Woo! And that's what they just gave me. Lord have mercy. Because look at that. She's embracing herself. Seriously. And that's where this is going. Because that's exactly what they were talking about. Like, finding your, going back to your original self and embracing yourself and loving yourself for who you are. Good God. I couldn't make this up if I tried. So if anybody is ever wondering, did I pick these cards out? No. <laughs> I don't got time, nor do I want to waste camera space showing you that I shuffle. You see on the other videos that I shuffle just fine, you know, and that they come out the way that they come out. And I don't manipulate these in any way, any different, you know, I do the same thing. I pray and meditate over them. And, and they come out as they come out and then I you know I set the intentions and this the message comes out loud and clear <sighs> that is beautiful okay look the truth shall set you free I swear and the truth is within you if you rely on your intuition look at that beautiful card so it says Today, I find the veil of my ego has lifted and a vision of my new life has appeared. Now I am focused on my inner growth. I listen only, I listen, I'm sorry, I listen to the voice of my heart and remain steadfast in the energy of love that I find there. Where was that? I believe group number three. You may want to check out group number three. For those of you, that's what's coming through. If you haven't already, it says, I find I, I am now free of duality, fear, and judgment, and I move forward on my path to inner peace. Good God, yeah, I, yeah, I believe that is group number three. Yes, and you belong there, you, you, you belong, you should be free. Everyone has that. that that's available to everyone and everyone you have the free will to do so but the truth says, shall set you free and just be your true authentic self and finally love appears because that's what you were after anyway you thought you found it <laughs> but in truth it's all within you it says I renounce my pain and release my resistance Today I choose to reside in the light of my being. I rise up boldly and ask for the understanding that will free me and my duality. Isn't that good God? Good, good God. That's what we just said, right? That's what you're seeking anyways, is to be set free. Truly free from any bondage, from any negativity. Okay. Let's finish. <laughs> it says, my prayers are heard and God sends angelic help so that love and peace find their way to me. My God, my God, because that is all. I don't know about y'all, but that is all I am after. True, true peace. And that's freedom. <clears throat> and of course, love. When I open my eyes, love appears. That is just beautiful. That is beautiful. And accept that. Accept that because it's really that simple. 
you have to free yourself from any hurt and pain. And like I said before, get back to the place where you heal and open. And that's how you heal, truly. Releasing that. You got to release that resistance and open yourself back up to receive. Because the love will appear. The divine will bring that, give that to you. And that's deep within you. Like, and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like no other. Like no one else can give that to you. No one in this world can give that to you. You have to give that to yourself. The, you know, God will provide all the tools necessary. Your spirit squad will refill you and give you all that you've ever needed. So that you're not looking for it falsely in someone else. You're not looking for it because no one else will fill that void. Ever. And that's the greatest lesson, honestly, that I have learned. And it's going to take time and you're going to have to be patient and sensitive and gentle with yourself. And it's going to take moments of you just honestly, maybe crying yourself to sleep. You know, let them ugly tears fall. And they're not ugly. They're beautiful because people don't even realize that when you shed those tears, whether it's pain or happiness, you know, joy, you're, you're cleansing the soul. It's like out with the old, in with the new. You're allowing new to come in. And that's ultimate healing. Alright, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. So, here we go. Speaking of love, the first one is a love spell. Again, as always, feel free to pause these. Screenshot, come back, do whatever you need to do. They'll be here. Look at there. <laughs> Break up. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm going to put that right here too. Release yourself from that mess. <laughs> and then we have an everyday spell. Mm, beautiful. frame so that you can see and it's funny because the high priestess is all about the moon energy and then you have the moon here in the nine of wands that's so funny it's every day spell it's no coincidence how spirit has me place these either Get rid of that negative energy. And this, like I said, that's not coincidence. This comes out after, or with the will of, uh, yeah, the will, and on top of this negative energy and the seven of swords. So that's beautiful. Y'all, this has been an absolutely magnificent for me to even do. I appreciate each and every group. Um, Take heed to any of the messages, y'all. You may want to use the affirmations a week, you know, one for every week. I don't know. However you you need to do it, repeat it to yourself every day. That's just the guidance that's coming from my squad. So, you know, even if you don't have any of these crystals, you can pause and meditate, screenshot, whatever you need to do for my video and meditate with them you know channel that energy through the the cards you don't have to have it in your physical possession it's all in your intent right but that is all i have and like i always say to you please remember to spread love and light and everything will be all right if you haven't already i enjoy um interaction Please let me know down below how this resonates with you. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, peace.